Oh. All right, I said it was a bit of a mess. It's the stink. Bit of a pong, too, all right. Drain. No, 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 nothing like that. Just a bit of leakage from the pool way back. All dealt with. MTC has been dried out for months. Fishy. Well, dolphins aren't exactly fish, but you have to feed them on fish, so it hangs about a bit. You can say that again. The air's stagnant. Mm. No. What happened to the seats? I don't think not. I can see that. Why? Got an offer and sold them off. Can I hurry? No, sometimes you have to move fast. They nearly ripped the bloody place apart. The <laughs> boys were a bit rough. What kind of seats were they? Benches? Tip-ups. Cinema seats? Hold them. Not gonna use that. <laughs> Not a chance. I might have. Look, you ain't to show a bit of class, right? Yeah. Then you couldn't have used them. They were clapped out. Came with a place, did they? Uh, that's right. I explained to Dave that this used to be a cinema. Uh, news theatre. Eh? <laughs> news theatre, aye. <laughs> Cartoons. Donald bloody duck, eh? <laughs> oh, well, times move on. Seats cut up, will they? Some of them, yes. You bet. Done a fair bit of that in my time. Liberating the springs. <laughs> Till I progress to more serious matters in the back room. Look, it wouldn't take a lot to put it back the way it was there. Oh, I don't know. No, what, if? Look here, yeah, bloody great steel tank. It must be ten feet deep. How am I going to shift that? When Mr. Beatty and I discussed Never mind, it... Mr. Beatty. Eh? How me and I'll talk to me. He thought you could leave the tank covered over. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, it was just an idea, Dave. You know, just kicking it around. Board it over. Ah, you could. Seats on top. That's right. Yeah. Customers up in the bloody air with their heads scrubbing the roof. Oh, they wouldn't it be, Dave? There's plenty of room. There's about ten foot clearance. You must be joking. Like to measure it. Dave, we, we could use the tank for, for storage. Oh, wait a minute, I've got a great idea. A reverberation chamber, eh? Play the bass through there, you get some great effects. It might work or not. Brighten up the orgasms, eh? <laughs> what would you show? All hardcore stuff. Well, it's a, a club cinema, you know. Like is. That's mine. I know. Yeah, OK. The one he runs for you. Now, that's just a wee place. Like I was explaining to you, Dave's got these great ideas for expansion. It makes money. You've been there. Once or twice. And you know it does. I try and for it round here. Can't he get enough? Into the big time. Wait and see. Let's go. Eh? Let's make the deal. What, just like that? Why not? Because I've just got here. What's the matter with him? Wipes the taste. Well, every five minutes, what did that? He's strapped. You sure? Cleaned out. I checked. Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> it's big enough, eh? Aye. I see Dave up there. The, the projection booth. Board it over. I wonder if No, nah, I was up there last time. There's nothing there. No projector with Mickey Mouse still laced up. Eh? <laughs> still, it could be usable. All right. Comes in quips. Well, that'll put him on. Hey, Hubbard! <laughs> Mr. Hubbard. Yeah. You said your dolphins died. How many? Only one. What happened? Oh, cool. he just got sick and passed out. And the others? Got rid of them. Sold them off. Uh, sold them off when I could. But nothing wrong with them, not a thing. Just disease, yeah? Now look here. There was no disease, they were clean. Then why sell them? You don't know dolphins. They'll do it on you. You treat them right. Good food, clean tank filtration, everything. Now one day. You'll find a dead one. No disease, nothing. Then another goes and another until you've lost the lot. Once the idea gets into them. I'll believe you. It's a fact. So a death wish. You know how much those things cost? 3,000 nickel each. 15 grand I had swimming around in that tank. Casting your bread upon the waters, eh? <laughs> you try getting back that sort of money with the insurance I laugh in your face. Lost a lot, did you? I mean, I'm taking a gypsy's warning. Keep off the dolphins, eh? That's right, son. You stick with your skin flicks. They don't do themselves in. It's got a point. Mm. I mean, there's no death wish in tits and bums. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Buddy boy. That's the one who done it. One that died? That's him. Something special, was it? He was a Californian. One of the last. The Americans won't export him anymore. Only from Mexico now. And then you construct some real rubbish. But he was a real thing. I picked him up from a fellow I knew on the south coast who was having problems. If I had known what his problems were, 
but I just saw the routines and that was it. I had to have him. I spent way above my normal limit, but for that one, it was still cheap. What was the cut? When you, when you see a bargain like that, you grab it and run. You think you've conned the other fella. But he's gone too fast. You mean it was no good? Far from it. He could do more things than any dolphin I've ever seen. Old? In his prime. So vicious. They never do. All right, I give up. He wouldn't be told. You what? Just that. He thought he knew better than we did. A rebel fish. <laughs> They're mammals. They've got these huge brains, as big as ours. That's not sin, sure. What'd they do? You won't believe this. He'd try to take over. <laughs> the air. He'd do it different every time. You never knew what you'd get. <laughs> Just little changes in the routine. Maybe he couldn't remember. Oh, he remembered all right. It was deliberate. Plays. <laughs> Sometimes he wrecked the whole performance, and he'd get the others going, too. He was the dominant man, you see, the leader. <laughs> what a funny. I've been called down by the trainer to find the whole tank for going crazy. <laughs> like mad things. What'd you do? I knew it was him. This buddy boy, I hated him. I hated the bastard. What happened? I had to show him. Who was boss? I had to show him. Oh, go on, what'd you do? Hey? Buddy boy, what happened? What? What is it? He was a beauty. He had this exceptional intelligence and a sense of timing to an amazing degree. He could do tricks that no dolphin in my in my experience could perform. Well, you just said it. I'm telling you. He had a very definite personality. Very appealing strong personality. Children noticed that. They liked him. They looked out for him. I think they loved him. Yeah, look, Hubbard. No, please. Come from there. I'll have a look. No! It's a girl! A girl? <laughs> What are you doing down here? Come on. Got a nest, have you? <laughs> what a place to choose here. Any more of you down here? No, I'm not surprised. Come on. Mr. Hubbard, you've got a squatter. <laughs> Oh, you know it. You were here again. I told you to keep out. But all the time, you were hiding under there. It was just you! That's enough. It was just her. That's all. Just her. It wasn't doing any she harm. She has no right in here. I have? No. I have. I have. I used to work here. She did nothing. I gave her old jobs. I was sorry for her. I'm a soft touch. Now get out! You better go. I'll set the fuss on you! I will! I mean that! Maybe he doesn't like girls. Gotta be careful. These kids, you let in one, you let in the lot. Before you know it, they're tearing the place apart. Not a lot more they could do. Look, it's in basically good. Good shape. Hmm? Sound structure, no, Rob. Have we got a deal? 
Okay. Do you want to take it? Ah, uh, just a minute. If you're not interested, don't waste my time. I've got plenty of other... Oh, to... don't give me that. A deal, then. <laughs> Look, I want to go over it again with my own experts. Any objection? I do business fast. Too fast. It's how I work. Yeah, you told us. It's your advantage. Find space is claustrophobia. I'll give you the key. Come back on your own and look at it. Want to lift? I'd rather walk. Needs fresh air? Yeah, maybe. There's no harm being past all excitement. We've got to keep an eye on the projector, eh? Get all of Ashwell. The surveyor? Yeah, he's a creep, but he knows his stuff. Yes, dear? What is it? About what we said. Ah, oh, well, I'm a wee bit pushed for um, uh, time. Well, as you're here, you might as well. Uh, David, this is Louise. New since last week. She'd like to show you... Um, uh, go on. Very nice. I want to do films. Yeah, well. I said that when you came Look, in... Look, could... I exhibit films. I don't produce them. Yeah, but you could put me in touch. Well, he said... Ah, what I meant there, David, think was... about it. Right, thank you, Louise. Next time you can give me a Oh, David, it's criminal to let them go to waste, They're eh? They're big. Colossal. Do you know how much they weigh? You weren't them. On oh, no, a kitchen scales. I was round there the other night Just with bulk, eh? No class. Oh, how can you say they've got names? I do. That's your taste, Jimmy, your taste. But what's in now is class. I do my wee best. Christ, you push these cows on me, you make them promises, you drop my name. You're not flattered. Jimmy, dropping names is small time stuff, no matter who's creep stuff, and you do it. I'm a creep. Yeah, like your crypto hubbard. No! I watched you. That was tact. <laughs> when you got them on the raw, trying to save your deal for you. What deal? I found that place. Mr. Hubbard is scared. If I just knew what was giving him the runs. You with your creepy tactful observation. Come on. Dates. Not enough. The way he's extended. He's into everything around here. You name it. Mini cabs, cut price stores. He's got a flat like a bloody palace. I was up there. And now he's stretched, cleaned out. All right, you go bankrupt. That's nothing. Nothing. It's just the law if you got the sense to leave it at that. But suppose he got tangled up with the big boys, eh? Went to them for help, then let them down. Now, if they're after him, if they're out to do him... Your chance! <laughs> oh, oh, no. If that's it, I'm not touching it. I keep strictly clear, nose clean. That's a real big time, Jimmy. Names you don't drop. You think he yeah. could... Somebody's putting the frighteners on him. He was scared to go in that place today. Yeah. He was scared to go anywhere. Hello? Peekaboo Club? Uh, uh j just a minute. It's him. Hello. Hello. Have you made up your mind yet? Tomorrow, you said. But you've seen it. All right, all right. When tomorrow? When? Look, I don't want to be hard on you over the figures. I can be flexible. I've just... I've got to have a decision. Yeah, all right, mister, but I get it. You're in a hurry. I'll be in touch soon.
Hello, Betty. Is that you? Did you come back? How is it? That seems clear so far. Well, find something. Well, give me a chance. Do you think he will? Him? That fellow could find dry rotten heaven his dream for it. Now. Had a bit of a think last night, aye? If I take it, I think I'll divide it in two. A two screen job, that's good. Aye, turn them sideways, both facing that way. A double club, but one of them really exclusive, the inner sanctum. Like the old porn shops with the hard stuff in the back. Not like the old porn shops. Sorry. When are you going to get the message? Class, I know. I don't think you do, you know. The time for cheap jacks in the porn business is over. It's important and it's recognised. It's going to be part of the lifestyle of this bloody country. So we're into therapy, sorting out the fellas that can't do it, OK? Bishops right to the times to praise us. Sex therapy, that's... And every little whore becomes a sister of mercy. <laughs> see, I see it all in red plush, no, fur. Special seats, super soft, you feel suspended. That cost, Dave. I know where to go. And the foyer, sex shop and bar. How's that? Have a drink, bit of a giggle, nothing furtive. Maybe sell hamburgers. Hamburgers? That's not a bit... So the uh, aphrodisiac hamburger. It's an ancient recipe. Spanish fly. Herbs. Imagination does the rest. Give him a hand. How Thanks. is it? Oh, the drains are okay. Oh, hell. Well, that's just for you to know. But otherwise? Otherwise, they're cracked and leaking. Prove it. But trust me. What would it be worth? Well, that's a nasty big job. You ought to knock him back, say, five or six thousand. Great. It's not enough. Keep going. Oh, will do. Oh, uh, that's the only thing I did find. Huh? Oh, it's the dolphins. The tricks. Give me that. It was his. He used to catch it. He was the only one with a special skill. It's so small. Oh. Buddy boy. Where'd you find it? In the outlet pipe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it might be there. But I couldn't reach. I got all the things he used. I kept them. It's a great start, but all you need now is a dolphinarium and a few dolphins. <laughs> Why? Don't mind him, he's an idiot. Why? I heard you talking yesterday, but I couldn't make out. Have you bought this place? What are you going to do with it? Open it up? Maybe. For them, for, for the dolphins? No. Don't have it. Don't do anything. Just leave it and go. Yeah, look here. Please, can't you just now, go? Listen to me. Why you do you say that? Have... Without well, what's been going on here? Do you know what Hubbard's got himself into? Do you? Hubbard. Yeah, you're Mr. Hubbard. You mustn't change anything. It... You mustn't do that. What's he up to? Leave me alone! I want to know what's been going on here. You're gonna... <laughs> My God, she weighs nothing. Look at her wrists. Is there any needle marks? Nothing. What do you reckon? Starved. You'll make us sick. Non-Chinese food. A couple of hours you can start all over again. Chow mein. Get her some coffee. Louise will be back now. You get it. Got a home. Some people I know took over this house. I can stay with them. Mostly it's where I found you. Robert doesn't like that, does he? If he catches you, turns you out. Doesn't see me. But if he does, you're trespassing and he's hiding something. You hide things too. And me. You're like him. Like Hubbard. You will be. Yeah. <laughs> what is this place? It's a club. It's mine. Show dirty films. Dirty? <laughs> Where have you been? I provide a service, me. I hate people. All right, start with Hubbard. Tell me about him. I'm gonna go. I fed you. 
he might have got himself into trouble. Less than that danger, and if he has, I want to know it's important to me. What does that mean? I don't know. You work for him? Not really. What do you mean? Not him. He gave you the job. No, it was the trainer. This girl that worked there. She introduced me and I used to clean up and help with the fish baskets and... Well, that was all at first and then... Well, they liked me. Who? The dolphins, but buddy you boy. you saw Hubbard. How much was Hubbard there? Uh, he mostly came in to complain about things, accusing people. Accusing who? The trainer, anybody, about the costs that we were feeding them too much. They ate about 60 pounds of fish a day. They had to have it. Did people come to see him? Buddy boy, of no, course. No, Hubbard. Did he see any visitors that he had? Men that perhaps he didn't like the look of, as if they might be, I don't know, tricky to deal with. I fed them too. I used to stay there at night sometimes. And then I used to stay there always. I could hear them in the dark. I'd go over and talk to them. They knew I was coming. They can hear the slightest sound through the water. They can hear sounds that we don't even know about. And there they'd be, waiting for me, rising up, their fronts all white in the darkness. Raymond and Chiquita, and most of all, Buddy Boy. <laughs> he was always the first. He'd leap up onto the landing like to be stroked. His skin is so soft. Sometimes I swam with them. You're watching it, are you? All right, all right, I'm just asking. If it can happen once, it can happen again. Got his reels mixed up last night on the virgins thing. They'd never notice. I'm fussy. This buddy boy, was he really clever? Clever? Yeah, Hobbit said it blew his training, refused all his tricks. You don't train them. They think up the tricks themselves and they just do them. It's natural. It's their play. They enjoy it as if they was in the open sea. Only they're not in the sea. They have to pretend. In that place they'd have to. Thing like that, pretend. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. They know and they feel and they imagine just like us. Well, you can explain to them and they understand. And if something did go wrong, they'd remember and next time it would be right. <laughs> we need one in there. <laughs> they love each other and they help each other. They even help people. Well, one day, this little kid fell in. He got excited and he climbed up onto the edge and he went over. Everybody yelled. Buddy boy got to him, lifted him up with his head as if it was a new trick. Clear of the water up to me. Just like that? It was to me. Ah. And when Buddy boy got sick, the others took care of him. They held him up so he wouldn't drown. Drown? Well, they've got lungs like us. They're not fish. They held him up for a day and a night. I was there. Till his eyes went all dull. And he stopped breathing. I say Hubbard did that. <laughs> what did Hubbard do to him? I wasn't there. Listen. <laughs> no. I want to go. I feel sick. Get the door, Hubbard. Hello, yes. I don't want to press you, but the fact is I'm not... I'm not too well. I want to get away somewhere. I want to get this settled if I can and get away somewhere. How about three o'clock here at my flat? Beatty knows where it is. Yeah, right, I'll see you there. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, listen, I've just been talking, me and my associates, about dolphins. What you said about them being very peaceable, but there was one you had to throw a scare into. Uh, buddy boy, wasn't it? Well, what did you actually do to him? I don't want... I don't want to speak about it. Sometimes you have to assert yourself over an animal. Well, what do you use on a thing like that, a whip? I mean, when he sticks his head up, bang, cop that. There was nothing of the sort. No cruelty. The inspectors? Of course they came round, but they could say nothing. Nothing. There was not a mark on him. I showed them. 
Now I don't want three o'clock sharp. How'd you get in here? There's a way. I think he must have. What? What you meant. Done something to Buddy Boy. Hurt him. Oh. I don't know. There were no marks on him. But when I got back, I wondered. There was something wrong. His breathing was wrong. I thought it was because I'd been away from him. Pining. Where were you? with some friends, the ones I told you about. I had to get away. It was so awful here. There were all these rounds all the time about the act. You know, and he sort of threw me out. Oh, but... He's crazy, I think. Do you think he's crazy? I don't know. I came back. I always came back. But I was too late. I thought about it. Just how they could have done it. Him and the trainer. I mean, if they just persuaded Buddy Boy up onto the landing mat and then not let him back again. I mean, not let him back in the water all night. Oh, that would have done it. His own weight would have crushed his lungs. He couldn't get better after that. Neat. What do you mean? It'd look natural when they try for the insurance. I should have known if I'd come back soon. Oh, well. Perhaps you didn't mean to kill him. What? Just tame him. But what's the difference? As if he uh, wasn't uh, doing what he was supposed to. That's right. He wouldn't obey. Well, then. He wouldn't do anything for them. You're like Hubbard said, he refused all his tricks. He would for me. You? You took routines. They let you. Sometimes. Until Hubbard stopped it. That's why I think he's crazy. What do I call you? Dave. Dave. That ugly man. He couldn't face what Buddy Boy was. Yeah, that's the point. All oh, that beauty. You know what's hard? I think about Buddy Boy all the time. And I have to think about him here. Because I only knew him here. But I can't bear to think about him here. So, I try to imagine. Buddy boy was born in the Pacific Ocean. Not out of an egg like a fish, but really born. And suckled for a year by a real mother. And kept close to her and loved and grown. That's the way they do it. I've read books. A whole blue ocean. And he 
was born like a slave. He finished up here. That was all the sky I ever saw. You come here. I have to. No! We're going. No! <laughs> Stick with me for a bit. I'll manage. You need looking after, and I'm the one to do it, okay? Up to you. What was that in there? I won't go back. If you don't want me to. Hey, skinny. We'll work on that. And I, I don't want to see Hubbard. Oh, Christ, Hubbard. It's the way I want it. I am trying to look after your interests, all right, all right. which you pay me to do, your legal interests. I know my interests. If you want to go away for your health, fine. Now, I look after things. In time, I will get you a realistic price for your property. No. Oh, for pity's sake. It's got to be today. Look, I don't understand. Look, it's my loss, not yours. I wish I could be sure of that. What do you mean by that? If I get hauled up before the Law Society... Now, look here. I swore to you... You did? Then don't get your niggers in a twist. There's nothing for you to worry about, not a thing. Then why? Because I want to be rid of the place. That's... Just that. I want to know I'm rid of it. Before I step aboard that plane, I want to be absolutely sure I've cut every last connection with... Where the hell is he? If he hasn't been able to raise it... Well, if he can't raise that amount... Will you... I'll do it. Come in. Come in. You're late. I was beginning to Good think Good afternoon. Were... My lawyer, Mr. Crisp. How do? How do you do? How do you do? This yours? Yeah, uh, Mr. Ashwell. How do you do? He's done a survey for me. Survey? 
You want a drink? No. No, thank you. Just me, then. I've got this artery condition. You see, it's supposed to dilate them. Brought the banker's draft. You did get it, then. Good. Good. What's this supposed to be? A percentage? That's the lot. All you could manage. All you're getting. But, but it's no good. It's not even the basis of a deal. Just look at that. Look at it. What's he trying to... What, what's he thinking? We agreed figures. Oh, well, uh, Mr Ashwell and me, we come up with some new figures. There's a lot to put right there. That's not true. Serious defects. No. Well, I had to advise my client. You're trying to get out of it. That's what it is. Is that true? Do you want to withdraw? I'm taking it. Uh, that figure, you're out of your head, son. I don't think if so. If you think I'd agree to that, you see what he's trying to do. He's trying to force my hand at the last second. In that case, you'd be well advised to reconsider. That's beginner stuff. It marks you as a beginner. That... That is no figure that ever was. You'll accept it. Listen to me. If you th think you've got me by the short and pearly... I'd like to have a word with my client. Yeah, well, not too long, please. He's in a hurry. If you don't... I agree, Duncan. Well, who the hell is that? I think that's for me. More of your associates. No, what is this? Just come man? inside. Oh, no. It's all right. I said I wouldn't. What's she doing here? I asked her. I don't want her here. Get her out. She's with me now. Hey? I'm responsible for Since her. when? All right. Do what you like with her. Only just don't let her come near me. I was right. What's that? I don't think you ever appreciated her, you know. You never realised what she was capable of. She must have had a real talent with those dolphins. Did she? In particular, the one that died. Uh, called her buddy boy, wasn't it? <laughs> She remembers all the tricks, you know. The patter, everything she showed me today. And at the end, the most remarkable thing, she exactly imitated the noise that they make. You know, that sort of cry. I've got to get, get away from here. here. Let's stop. Right away from here. A different climate. Got to go now. Get the papers out. Down for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Steady. In there. All set to go. <laughs> Come on. There you are. <laughs> Somewhere nice and warm, I see. You'll be okay there. You know, I thought you got yourself in stuck with heavy mob. You didn't, though, did you? No, well, that's okay then. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to need a base. I could use this place. It'll do. You bastard. I'd look after it. You'd get rent. All right. Fix it with the lawyer. Go on. <laughs> You said they never turn vicious. It's funny that. It's where they're different from us, eh? And they stay that way, no matter what. I mean, no matter what happens to them. Is that so? Well, I reckon it depends. I'll go and see the lawyer. How is he? Oh, he'll be okay. Fit to travel. Hey! <laughs> Here, drink the absent friends. I'm one particular absent friend and wish the bastard had bumped the flight. Cheers. I wouldn't drink to him. He's not serious. It's wishing. We'll make it something worse than a vicious toast. I don't think I like wine. All right, then. What was that for? Look, no. 
I'm smashing him because I don't like him and he's got too many anyway. <laughs> I can do what I want. Do you think this is real leather, eh? Looks like it. By Christ, what he must have spent. Come on, let's see what we've inherited. Hey, what's this? Ah, <laughs> it's the telly. <laughs> Cigars, the best. He did himself all right, didn't he? Hey. <laughs> quizzy, quizzy. Oh, look. Mood lighting. Very crafty. Hey. <laughs> oh. It's electric reheater, that is. Put his suits on. My suit. <laughs> oh. Look at this. Gold taps. Boy, what a scene. <laughs> he really went to town in here. He could sail all his boats in that one. Can't wait to try that. What's this? Oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> All of this, eh? You know, it's funny how you can make use of a thing and not know how it works. Well, that's what I did with you. I used you to get them raffled and I don't really know how. Don't you? Oh, just good guessing. Guilt, would that be it? Yeah. Well, I don't think so. Because he was scared. I've never seen a man that scared. Was he? There's more to it than that. Buddy boy. No. I want you to love me. Love me. Class, eh? Eh? Oh, she's still here. <laughs> you can't even mean it, not that one. Jimmy, get out. I brought friends. I'm not interested. I've set this up. Not now. Listen, pal, I'm not taking that from you. You talk to me about class and all the time you're having her off with some dirty wee scrubber, eh? <laughs> Did you see her? <laughs> Did you see what he's got in there? Class, is it? Oh, by Christ, if that's your idea, class, you need me to run the new place for you, eh? You run nothing. <laughs> eh? You're not going near it. Oh, wait a minute. You gave your word. You're out. Finished. Bastard! <laughs> and here, I'll both of you. Quick! Get out of it! Anybody ever tell you you're lovely, as the saying goes? Well, I reckon they didn't. Well, I know they did, anyway. Dave. 
Hmm? Dave. You know, it's funny. You never know what you're going to get with a girl. Now, I just said... Never mind. <laughs> no. You see, when you... took off like that... <laughs> you really surprised me. But you surprise yourself, eh? <laughs> Little package, but full of surprises. <laughs> hey! You know what we ought to do? It's just come to me. We've got to get you on film. Film? Yeah. Spread it around a bit. You're much too good to keep private. Give the customers a treat, I mean that. I know a couple of guys who might be interested. I mean, they're not just messing about. They're professionals. They've got a studio. Everything. Will that bother you? To offend you, I mean... It's just a thought. I know. Wouldn't have to. You don't need to worry. You're okay. You can make a name. Say something. You ought to stick with me, you know. This lot's just a start. When you come out there, I'll tell you some of my plans. In fact, I'll tell you now in case you're interested. I'm going to turn that place into a double cinema club. You'll like it. Of course, I have to turn on a few cones to get it, but that's the sort of person I am. I can't help it. I have to come out on top. I have to win, see? You could do yourself a lot of good. You see, a guy with anything in him has got to be what he is. I've always thought that, you know. But it won't just happen. You've got to find a way to be it. Keep looking and be ready, but they don't see it. Like Jimmy. He couldn't. Great Scots backstreet bastard. He was never on the sea. You know what I'm going to call it? The Viceroy Club. <laughs> a bit of class and a bit of the old double on turns are all up to one. Viceroy, get it? <laughs> they mind the permissive and the therapy bits. They like to feel they shouldn't. It's the extra kick, you see, being naughty. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what about new Viceroy? about that? It's even better. Lucy? Lucy, can you hear me in there? Lucy, you all right in there? 